keeps his dribble alive. Now Bates goes inside, layup shot is good. Hurry Gordy got fouled. Five point nine remaining. They tied the game. Davis reaches foul, knocked away by Thompson, puts it up with the buzzer. Oh, just about a foot short, and we're going to overtime. No clear with five. NBA rumors. The Lakers trade offer for D'Angelo Russell and Klay Thompson was rejected by the Warriors. The basketball world continues to watch as the Los Angeles Lakers empire crumbles. The franchise has struggled thus far in this free agency window, even after selecting LeBron James' son in the draft and appointing his podcast co-host as a first-year head coach. The Lakers made every effort to sign Klay Thompson, but Chris Haynes of Bleacher Report reports that they were unable to close a deal. According to Haynes, I was told the Lakers made a pretty compelling offer. They spent about $20 million a year for three or four years, and they still hadn't found their person. LeBron James' decision to accept less had nothing to do with the sign-and-trade situation that was clearly required. When James decided to opt out of his contract, he told Los Angeles that he would accept a wage decrease in order to assist the organization in signing a new star. However, in this scenario, Thompson would have been acquired by the team on a brand new contract, drawing focus away from cap space and towards the Lakers' other assets. Haynes went on, I was informed that it would have probably involved D'Angelo Russell being a part of a deal to get Clay. I was informed that the Warriors had no intention of bringing D'Angelo Russell back. Recall that D'Angelo spent a year working with them a few years prior. That was simply not possible for the Warriors. The Lakers are still in the process of determining who that player will be. They're looking for a player on par with a star. Whether through a sign and trade situation or LeBron James foregoing financial security and accepting the entire mid-level, exception. Russell, who was six years younger than Thompson and had numbers comparable to Thompson's from the previous season, would have been a good choice for the Golden State. In 32.7 minutes per game, the former Warrior averaged 18 points on 45.6% shooting, 3.1 rebounds, and 6.3 assists. In any case, Golden State saw little value in returning, therefore Los Angeles's offer was rejected. Now, where will the Lakers look? To maintain LeBron's satisfaction, the Lakers will need to make a surprising move. James did not intend for Los Angeles to make the headline move that they did, as they have only re-signed a bench player thus far. The Lakers haven't done much as of yet, Haynes remarked. Max Christie was resigned by them. Other than that, they remain in wait. They are anticipating that large fish. The Lakers usually make significant moves when they do. They've had no luck with Clay Thompson thus far. James' wishlist hasn't been fulfilled because Thompson is moving to Dallas, James Harden is staying in Los Angeles, and Jonas Valanciunas is traveling to the nation's capital. The Lakers may, however, realistically deal for a few other elite players. Trade rumors have been circling the names of Hawks player Trey Young and Bulls player DeMar DeRozan. The squad's lack of strong trade assets is the problem, either player would offer the team a shot at winning the following season. Not only would Los Angeles have to forfeit one or more of Russell, Austin Reeves, or Rui Hakimura, but it would also likely have to forfeit the remainder of its steadily declining draft capital. Although it's never ideal to take a chance on the future, James's window for a title is closing as he approaches 40 in December. James chose not to play, but there's a reason he did. He is not likely to leave his son Bronny and head coach JJ Redick in the City of Angels. His floaters up, shot no good, falls down, he thought he was hit. James goes to the head to Reeves. Reeves hesitates, layup is good. Reeves to the basket off the glass, and it's back up to four.